The top agents are out to kill Grayson and Agent One. Can they do it? Welcome to the Complete Story Series, where I take trade paperbacks and single issues and I break them down into digestible bites to help you understand. Then I read it dramatically back to you, all alterations in the panel, sex, and images are to prevent copyright problems, and all art is owned by its respective companies. This is our continuing series on Dick Grayson, which leads to Nightwing Rebirth. Unlike many of the other stories, what leads to Nightwing Rebirth is a series of single issues, each handled like a single episode in a TV show that links together in an explosive ending. When we last left off, Grayson had completed his original mission. He had discovered Batman was gone and he decided that he would return to dismantle Spiral from the inside. That plan had been placed into motion as he was now trying to pit the spy organizations against each other and is right now working with Checkmate. But while Grayson is getting his plans moving, Helena, the leader of Spiral, has figured out that Grayson has gone rogue and not only that, he convinced Agent 1 to join him in dismantling Spiral. So she contacted the Syndicate, the top agents in the field of spy work, to remove those thorns from her side. But while Grifter is briefing the Syndicate so that he can head out on the mission, Agent 1 and Grayson are stalking another enemy enemy agent, an agent from the organization Shade, Frankenstein. Things are going fine until Frankenstein throws undead monkeys at Agent 1. Grayson was talking to him on the radio, and that's when he suddenly hears, Cree! 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 Please tell me you're just watching Alvin and the Chipmunks. Again. He swings into action and sees Frankenstein charging into his victim while still pinned underneath the undead monkeys. Frankenstein throws Grayson aside, and realizing what they're up against, Grayson activates his new weapon, and he sucker punches Frankenstein with a hard light construct. Tiger throws one on himself, and the two of them begin to hit Frankenstein over and over, pushing him into a wall until they get him boxed in and then water pours on him and freezes him into place. Then out walks their new partner, Maxwell Lord of Checkmate. He asks for his weapons back, and he agrees that their deal has now been made. They brought him Frankenstein, so he'll help them in their battle against Spiral. The two of them head to Mexico, where they finally sit down and talk a little. And Grayson tells him a story of summer camp. He would be sent to this camp where all of the other students from nearby schools were also going. People who never knew each other would all arrive at the same time. Then they would all magically become best friends within hours, even though they were complete strangers. Something about the fact that everything was new and exciting made those friendships more intense. That's what being a spy is like for him, like summer camp. They both stand up and Grayson turns to Tiger. You can call me an idiot now, Agent One. I, I have made my distaste for your history and many of your present actions quite clear. But know this, as I have come to know you, I have to admit to myself that I may not like working with you. I indeed like. And then before he can finish, Tiger is punched across the face by a mini person. The mini person then grows to a full size person and is pink. Grayson tries to punch her, but his force is thrown back at him. And then Grifter arrives, grabbing Grayson by the arm and throwing him to the ground. They flip around a little bit and Grayson asks him, how did Helena get you on board, Red Hanky? Meanwhile, Tiger is fighting the pink person as she grows, shrinks, and bounces him around. I told Helena that I was getting bored fighting against her easy agents. So she sent a toy that throws my own might back at me. Genius, he says as he hits the ground. Back with Grayson, he is constantly dodging Grifter as he fires his guns at him. That is until Grayson figures out that Grifter is following his movements telepathically. So he throws a baton against the wall. It bounces around throwing off Grifter, and as it comes for his head, he shoots it out of the sky. But that was a distraction as Grayson kicks him on the side of the head and disarms him. The two of them continue their dance on the roof, and Grayson throws his batons against the walls, bouncing them down ahead of them until he pins down Grifter. Then, after a short while, he shows up with Tiger and his eyes bleeding. He tried to use his hypnos to read Grifter's mind, but when Grifter resisted, he forced it. And that's when he tells Tiger the news. The Syndicate know all about Spiral Helena and Auto Nets and the plan to cause chaos within the world. So why did they come after us? Tiger wants to know. Because Helena hired them and they want to keep up appearances. The truth is, the spy wars are beginning and it is now Grayson, Tiger, Checkmate, and the Syndicate against Helena and Spiral. And it's about to get messy. If you've been with us for this entire Grayson storyline, Line, we are finally coming to the end of it as Grayson is going to move forward to end Spiral. But what is going to happen to Helena and Tiger? You're going to have to stick around to find out. And if you're not subscribed, you're going to have to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Coming Story and Instagram at Coming Story. And I'll see you next time right here.